Robert, uh, yes. tell me, uh, what do you think of Mr. De Vries? Well, it's really not my place to comment on Miss Conway's associates. Uh, no, no, uh, of course not. But since you're practically a member of the family... Yes, y yes, do go on. Well, I don't trust the man. Test met him a scant six weeks ago, and he already acts as if he owns the place. I've known Tess for five years. And that crude little friend of his, he brought in to guard the estate. The estate never needed guarding before. She hardly notices me when Duncan is around. And that riffraff that he invites out to these garish parties. <laughs> Could you possibly see him? He's, he's hardly an intellectual. If it weren't for my devotion to the Conways, I think I'd leave. Well, it's been nice talking to you, Robert. Oh, always a pleasure, Mr. Fleming. Help me. Help me. <laughs> Help me. Help me. So, Byron, where have you been lurking? <sighs> I've been helping Tess with her latest acquisition. Mm, I thought you and Duncan didn't get along. <laughs> uh, not that acquisition. The <laughs> clock. The Egyptian water clock. Oh, what does it do? <laughs> well, uh, under normal circumstances, it keeps track of time by regulating the flow of water to a series of uniform drops. Mm, you couldn't use it to make gin, could you? <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no. This clock is special. By using blood instead of water, and by reciting a few simple incantations, Tess hopes to envelop us in a mystical force that will slow the aging process. Ah, do you think you could slow down my aging process and speed up hers? <laughs> well, no. Oh, pity. God of the moon, body of a man, head of a baboon.